welcome to today's video. Today we're headed out early. Before we go, I have some interesting news for you guys. Okay, so this year I wanted to do something new with you guys and a way that we could like hang out sort of together. And I found this online show series that we could compete against one another. What do you guys think of that? What um, is it about? No, yeah, it's like, no! It's so all you do is you send in a video of you riding. It can be now, it can be an old show, it can be any show, like an old video, a, a recent video, can be whatever you want. Like they don't have a lot of rules. You have to have, if you do a jumping division, then you have to jump like three jumps, at least three jumps. But you send in a video and you compete against all the other people who send in videos, an online horse show. You guys know, you guys know the drill. Anyway, so the one I found is called All About the Nay, all underscore about underscore the underscore nay. All About the Nay. It's only open to people in Ontario. I've been wanting for us to all compete, like be able to compete if we want to compete. I think it would be super fun. Each entry is only five bucks, so I thought it was. it's like so super low cost, something almost everybody could do. You can send in any video, it's a win-win. And you guys could com compete against our girls. And I just thought that was amazing. They have like hack, they have all the divisions. So I'm gonna post this on my Instagram tomorrow so that you guys can get all the information you want. If you want to compete against our girls, go and check it out. Um, it's just for fun. It doesn't mean anything. I think it would be amazing. Sophie might be able to compete on her boy for the first time. Like, maybe that would be her first competition. Like, who knows? But anyway, if you guys want to compete against us, and I'm going to try and get some of our friends to, to do in it, to go into it, um, I think it would be amazing. They actually have real prizes. They have ribbons and horse treats, and they ship them out. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Sophie's like, yeah! it but anyways i wanted to give you guys a heads up that i'm going to post that on my instagram and you can find all the details there i'll try and remember to put to the link in the description box below so that you can also find the details if you want to sign up and show against us i'm not gonna lie i am so over rainy season i'm over the rain i'm over the mud i'm over having horses in rain and mud hi well, i see chance He's not at the round bale. He, I think, is in the shelter. So Chance is the leader of our field. Chance. Chance that got beat up when we first when he first moved here. Beat up by Gabby's horses. The most non-boss kind of horse. And now he's the boss of our field. And he's in the shelter. Him and his best friend. And both of it, him and his best friend, his best friend's name is Rhett. Both of them are in the shelter and the other horses are out of the shelter. Oh, he's so cute. You can just barely see him because another horse is in the way. But see how he always peeks around stuff? He always pops his head out around the corner and then bends his neck around the corner. It's seriously the cutest thing. He always looks like he's sneaky. But that's him. He's in the shelter and then his best friend Rhett right beside him. You can see Rhett's butt gone now so I just laughed my head off literally so Sophie has to get her horse from the backfield now and there's a horse back there really nice horse he stands at the gate with his ears pinned and so Sophie's nervous to go past him and I'm like go get your horse you can do it like I told her all the things to do <laughs> she would open the gate and she would get past him a few feet and he would take a few steps towards her and <laughs> she would run back through the gate like it just took us forever to get her horse but I was literally doing one of those things where I was laughing so hard I was gonna pee my pants. So you guys remember before how Chance would used to come around the corner and stand at the hay bales? So Sophie says the reason he did it was be because every time he turned that corner to go past the hay, he would look far in the distance and he would see the cows. <laughs> so he's always scoping out where the cows are. Keep him going. Yay! So Sophie's been working on it for a while now. Getting him past the hay. Teaching him not to care about the cows. And he's doing so good. The thing that I actually really like about this horse is his willingness to do stuff. Like he's so willing all the time. Like he's just such a fast learner and willing. But 
as you guys have seen, like with her lunging and stuff, he also is smart and knows like when he can get away with stuff. But he's not dirty and he's not mean. But yeah, Sophie was like accosted by a horse. <laughs> it was so funny. She could not. So she goes. You just gotta wave your arms in the air. You gotta do this, Adam. Oh, she was doing that, and he was. No, you gotta be. I'm damned. She was pinning her. He was pinning his ear so bad. So oh, he. Oh no, he'll come at you and try to bite you. Yeah, so, he did. <laughs> no, he didn't. Sophie yes, did. walked halfway into the field, and he turned around and looked at her, and she went. Ah! And she ran back He's out of the field. Me. It was funny. So there's like a couple of horses for sale at this barn. The, oh, hello. I'm in love with. I really want to show you this one. Like, I'm in love with it. He's just turned his butt to me. So anyway, there's this one little tiny. Both of the horses that I'm in love with at this barn right now are a year old. So out of my league, out of my comfort zone, but so cute. So there's this little pony that just arrived. One of them is this new little pony, and then the other one, and it's a miniature horse. And then the other one is, remember when that mare, that little, remember that foal? She's a, almost a year old. She got, uh, she jumped the fence and got in our horse's field recently. Well, uh, that one's for sale. Oh my gosh, or she's gonna be for sale. And I, like, I'm not, like, I'm attracted to her personality. She's like chance. She just has this spark and this amazing, like she's not, she just turned a year old and she literally begs me to brush her and to, to rub her and scratch her and she's like the friendliest little thing. Is your horse already tacked up? No. What are you doing? Drinking. Okay, well get ready please. <laughs> Sophie's still reeling from the whole experience in the field where he's really scared Sophie yeah, I <laughs> oh man it was funny that's not how I time I'm uh, I don't know. you want me to show you no because I mean it's close but not not right yeah that's how I that's how I time mine and then I tuck the bottom in I saw yeah, somebody. Now that's way loose. Yeah, you got to do it a little bit tighter. It's I, not loose. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I saw somebody comment that I tied my rope halter the wrong way. We saw a video. And that it has to be like between the two knots or whatever, and that's how I do do it. And it just makes it. That was even looser. And just, now you're tying it the wrong way still. No. Yeah. No. All right. Quiet. Put it through. Under. And up. Up, yeah. not down. Yeah, but then we pull the rope down after. Like we don't, yeah, see, we pull the rope down after, that's why, so that's how we do it. Yeah, but her nose is like up here, not in there. Even though there are two horses for sale here, I do not feel the desire or the urge to buy another horse at all. But we are still kind of looking, low key looking for Sophie because we don't know what's gonna happen with Chance and he's a lease right now. And she's loving everything about him and he's doing fabulous and he, he's like gonna weight really well he's doing great i don't know it's not how i do their feet well this is wet so he can't really get wrong he's so he's gaining weight super well he's like well behaved well mannered he's such a nice boy he just doesn't like me wanting to get his mane is so uneven also he has mane on both sides of his neck now see you see that side uh, if you come over here, he has made on this. I like it. And this side of his neck is all uneven. Oh, yeah, because it needs to flip over. Because she cut it when there was braids in it. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, well. It looks better. So, yeah, and I loved but the braids. All this goes to that side. I like this it. Spot here. It's thinned out a lot. But all this goes. No, that's because this is a little bit of his mane. This is Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, yeah, this boy's got a lot of hair. Really. Yeah. It looks good though. I like it. So we learned from when Gabby went to Champs last year that braiders do such a better job than us. The braiders do such a better job than us. That's what uh, Sophie said. But I learned like when she does it at Champs, his hair is literally this long, like just this little tiny, not even. Like it's so short, and then she cuts it as she braids it and then when he comes out of it he's got that much apparently sophie calls me over 
so that I can see how relaxed and how excited. No, how he moves his tail out of the way for me. How much Chance loves this. He moves his tail right out of the way so she can rub it, so she can scratch his bum, <laughs> brush his bum. But he's also very relaxed because he's showing other signs that I can't show on camera <laughs> that he enjoys that she's scratching his butt. But yeah, he loves it. Gabby and I are looking to see if she can ride outside because like I said, it's been pouring rain, you guys. It looks wet, but not like so wet. They have it set up for the show. They're having the show here. Gabby's gonna ride out here. She made the executive decision. She's gonna do it. She's not gonna be a baby about it. Her horse is gonna be a baby about it, she said. This is where it gets tricky because Sophie lunges inside and then brings him outside to walk around and Gabby rides outside, so where do I go? I wanna go with Gabby because she's going outside, but I need to stay with Sophie because she's young. So I know we're showing you guys like a lot of journey on the ground with Sophie and Chance because one, I want you guys to see how she progresses and how she learns and how he adjusts to her and also I like hearing what you guys say as somebody made a comment that she needs Sam to make her a lead rope or a lunging rope that's the right size for her. And I love that idea. So as soon as he gets an opportunity, he's gonna try. So much better, Mom, she says. love that this guy is so calm and that he's so like quiet even on the lunge line like I like everything about this horse I like a lot of you guys have said I wish he was like a bigger size but as he fills in he should be a lot better a lot bigger he is still fine boned I get that too feel really lucky that we have the opportunity to take as much time as we need to decide this why don't you set up poles you were supposed to set up poles. Would you tell me, can't you say, what's really going on, what's really going on? Down the bottom in the hole, there's no saying there's no explanations I've got things I tend to moan In these times Just please be patient Be my show You be my home Brag this out And build us up again Put things right Let There's this girl in the comment section You guys have seen her And she always says that Chino Watching Chino Makes her feel Really good Like it makes her feel calm And relaxed And she just loves watching him. And I feel like the same way when I watch Chance. There's something about Chance that makes me feel like I love watching him. Connect with his personality really, really well. And I think Sophie does too, but Gabby on the other hand, not as much. All right, it's water test time. Good boy! Cheater. Yep. Just get yep. Look at that boy. What a spooky five-year-old thoroughbred. Every day I see like so many comments. Oh, he's thoroughbreds are so spooky and he's so young and the only thing he's spooky at is cows. And I know that that's true. Like I know that that can be the truth. But it's just shocking to me. I'm so grateful that our first experience with a thoroughbred has been so different. Uh, hello, Chino Bambino. Hi, handsome man. Looking good. I did stir by myself. I just couldn't get Yeah, so yesterday Sophie learned 
to uh, shorten her stirrup. Yeah, we don't like cows. No, we like cows, Chance. She's looking right at the cows. Yeah, I know. Chance can spot a cow. If you ever want to know where the cows are, watch Chance's face. You will see them. So the other day, Sophie and I said that we were going to show you guys our favorite chickens. I'm just going to go in the shade so that you guys can see. So uh, you guys remember when we first started hatching chickens this season, one of them was my favorite. It was named Teddy. I thought it was a boy, but I think it's a girl, and I think we're going to keep her. It is a bantam breed. It's a cross between, uh, between a silky and I don't even know what else, but it's part silky. And you can tell by the little puff on its head. I think it's a girl. I'm gonna show you her feathers. She's so cute. Like this is as big. Well, she'll get a little bit bigger, but she's got feathered feet. Her fur, her feathers are really soft, but not silky soft like a silky. But she has the personality, and she's so friendly. Absolutely so friendly. So I love her. Love the personality of silkies, and she has that personality. Like she's just so calm. So friendly and so cute. This is my personal favorite. So it's still a baby. So this is Sophie's very favorite. It looks almost exactly like my favorite. Um, it was from the very last batch that we did. It's an Easter egger, but it doesn't look like it has the Easter egger cheeks, does it? It does. It's right oh, there. all right. It does. <laughs> so she is an Easter egger. She's still small. I, I named her Chipmunk. She is named Chipmunk. Because look, her wings are like Chipmunk. Yeah, and so we're not sure for sure 100% that she's a girl yet, but we're pretty she's sure. Yeah, she's a girl. So you guys will remember her from when she lived inside the house. She's my next favorite chicken. She's so sweet. She's so big compared to the other ones. She is a Brahma cross. She's a Brahma cross, but she got all beautiful and white, and then she has like that little tiny bit of gray on her feathers. She also has feathered feet. And she's really friendly and she's really happy. And we love her, I love her a lot. So she's my second favorite. She used to be my first favorite. So this is another one of my favorites. It's a frizzle, if you guys can see. It's so curly. I don't know how to tell if they're boys or girls. <laughs> it could be a girl. I'm thinking Just this like, one's a girl. There, now I'm touching its head. Yeah, like they're curly and all frizzled. I call them frizzle and frazzle. This is frizzle, and the other one is not frazzle. I know. So if he doesn't like that the name, the other one has no name yet. So this is a sizzle, it's actually. Scarlet. It's a silky crossed to make a frizzle, and it is so cute. And like I said, they have the silky personality. I think she's a girl. Like the boys have a different look to their eyes. They're like totally different. I don't know. Every time I look at her, I think more and more she's a girl. She's adorable. She'll put her away from your body. So that's what she looks like. Caterpillar. Ooh, there's a caterpillar in the spider web. Those. Look are, at that. You get, ooh. Those Did you guys are the see that? caterpillars that take over the trees. Like, my, um, second favorite. This is my third favorite. This is a cochin. You guys know we have the cochins. Like we have a white one and a gray one. And here, hold her out from your body. She's new. You got, I don't know for sure she's a girl. I think she's a girl. It's, she doesn't even have a comb, comb yet. Thingy yet. Yeah. So put her out so we can see her, her feathers. So she's so super sweet and she's white with just tiny little bits of gray. I do have a white cochin. Just that one's a miniature. But I like, but I love cochins. They're my favorite. And she's interesting because she's white with the gray. She also has feathers on her feet. She's my favorite. Yeah, we love her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?